Now, getting to the uh, one, the key point, is there anything I could do before that on this business of uh, South Vietnam? If you want me to do something, you know I'll do anything, because uh, we're not going to let these people stop these peace things if you think I could do something. Uh, Dick, I told Dirksen last night I thought it'd be better to uh, do it that way than to be calling on the trips. I think this. These people are proceeding on the assumption that folks close to you tell them to do nothing till January the 20th. Oh, you got it. Now, I think the wise thing to do from the standpoint of your country and from the standpoint of your presidency, and uh, I hope you believe me, I, I want to help you. I want to help you. I don't want to trick you or deceive you. I want peace. And uh, I don't want to get some Democrat uh, in a favorable position over you. But I think they ought to go to that conference now. Let me ask you this, is anything we could do right now? Yes, I think you ought to have whoever you trust the most in Washington. Whoever you're... Uh, the ambassador? Yes, sir. Therefore, Mr. Ambassador, I think you ought to tell the president that I support our president on going to the conference, and I think you ought to go. And uh, if they try to sell you out, you don't have to agree. But you ought to go because the Fulbrights and the Mansfields and uh, even the Dirksons will not go along with anybody that won't go to a conference table. Now, that's where they are tonight. Let me, let me ask you this about the ambassador. As, uh, I met him about five or six months ago. Does he have any influence with that government? Yes, he is, uh, he is giving them these signals. And uh, he, is, he is telling them that... Uh, uh, he has just talked to New Mexico, and he has just talked to the Nixon people, and they say, hold up, don't do anything, we're going to win, and we'll do better by you. Now, that's the story, Dick, and it's a sordid story. Uh, I told you that Sunday when I talked to you, you remember when I talked to Smathers and Dirksen? Right. Now, I don't want to say that to the country because that's not good. Right. But uh, they are playing that game. I don't think you're playing it, and I'd get off that hook. I'd just say to them, you go to that conference, and you protect your country, and I'm going to support our president as long as he doesn't agree to a coalition government, as long as he doesn't agree to recognize the NLF, as long as he, he stands on the conditions he does, and we're united, and don't depend on me to give you a better deal. We'll do that.